Asheville, North Carolina. I'm here for a girls trip with a couple of my girlfriends. It's actually day two of the trip. I didn't really vlog yesterday because it was a travel day and once we arrived we were kind of in a rush because we had some reservations at the Omni Grove Park Inn at this really nice restaurant called the Sunset Terrace and we wanted to make it there in time for the sunset which is kind of the whole point of the restaurant which is why it's called that. And the hotel is also very beautiful. It's a historic property here in Asheville, North Carolina. It's home to, I think, the oldest elevator, or at least the oldest elevator in North Carolina. And the hotel itself is very beautiful. You have these giant fireplaces in the lobby, and there's rocking chairs in front of them, and people sit and enjoy the warm fire, and they have it decorated really nice for Christmas, of course, too, with a nice Christmas tree in the lobby. And the restaurant itself is quite nice. It wasn't too chilly yesterday evening so we really enjoyed our time there and we had a table right at the end of the terrace so we had a gorgeous view of the sunset the food was really nice as well the service was great too I had a half chicken with some mashed potatoes and uh, some wine which was also really delicious and we enjoyed our time there and after dinner we sort of explored the property and then we came back to our cabin rental we rented an Airbnb together and I'll just give you a little tour but I wanted to show you guys this glorious morning look how beautiful it is I have the top room in the cabin so I have a really nice view of the mountain and it's just very peaceful and quiet here I'll be quiet for a little bit so that you can hear the birds So up here I have a little balcony with two lounge chairs so you can hang out here. It's a little chilly this morning, it's about 40 degrees so not too, I'm actually loving the cold to be honest. You know Miami is always so warm so to have a nice fall break has been wonderful. And then coming into my room I just have this sliding glass door. And the thing that we liked about this Airbnb is I'm here with two friends and there's three bedrooms and all of the bedrooms have king size beds. So if you're here on like a couple's trip or something, there's plenty of room for everybody. I have this like nice little sitting area with these two chairs and it's a quite spacious room. I have a really big bathroom as well. So I'll just walk in and here's like the vanity area. And you can see my Chanel gift set bags. I brought them, one for my makeup and one for toiletries. And I also have this really nice size tub. It's actually huge in there. So if you like baths, this is the tub for you. So now I'm on the main floor. Down there is another bedroom and like a den and a washing room. I'll take you guys down there in a bit. But here's the main room. Over here, there's a nice fireplace, a piano. And then we have the living area, which is quite spacious. Now over here are the stairs that lead up to my room. And then we have a really nice spacious kitchen, a dining room table. And then over there is a garage. And through the garage, there's actually another like suite. So it's kind of like a, an in-law suite where above the garage, it's like a little sort of like an efficiency almost. So there's a king size bed up there, a full bathroom and um, a little kitchenette. And that's actually where my friend is staying. And then we also have a nice half bath. And then over here, there's another nice deck and there's a barbecue out there as well. So if you wanna come and maybe do some grilling, it's all set up for you here. And there's another little lounge area and another high top down there. The views are absolutely gorgeous. There are definitely bears though. I'm pretty sure we heard one last night while we were in the hot tub, which was a little bit scary for us. But let me take you down there so you can see. 
This is the deck on the bottom floor and we have a nice four person hot tub. And over there actually is the third bedroom. So there's a smaller room down here with a king size bed. My friend is in there. So I'm not gonna show that room to you, but I'll link, as I said, the property down below. So if you wanna look at more photos, but there are definitely bears in the area. So keep that in mind. Last night we were in the hot tub enjoying some drinks and we could hear something walking down this hill over here. It was really loud crunching and all of the leaves and it was getting closer. So we all got pretty scared and we ran out of the hot tub into the house for a little bit and then just came back outside and closed the hot tub. So that is something to keep in mind. Of course, it's the woods, so there will be bears and deer and other animals but it is such a gorgeous location. And actually my friend said it was okay to film in her room. So this is the third bedroom. This is the downstairs bedroom right by the hot tub, which you can see just out there. It's also got a really nice king size bed and a good size as well. And then over here you have a nice TV and a closet and of course a full size mirror, which is super important for the girls trips. I think the girls and I are going to get ready to go for a hike and then later we're going to visit the Biltmore and I'll take you along. Welcome back. We are back from our hike. It was exactly what we were looking for. It wasn't too difficult of a hike, but it had some nice scenery. It had all of the beautiful fall leaves that we really don't get to enjoy in Miami at all. So I'm just getting ready to go to the Biltmore now, but after the hike, of course, we worked up an appetite. So we were looking for something like quick and easy. And we found this really good place. I think it was called Taco Temple and we enjoyed some tacos and then after the hike we we stopped at this really nice lookout and it was actually really cool because we could see our cabin from the lookout or at least kind of ish where our cabin is so we really enjoyed that and we ran into some other people hiking as well some people hiking with their baby really cute so again not too hard of a hike i'll put the hike that we went down in the description box below if you're looking for something if you're coming to Asheville anytime soon but if you have never been here and plan to stay in a cabin I would definitely recommend going for the SUV we went for the SUV and I'm so glad that we did because there are some really steep roads around here and I think a lot of them you could probably go in like a sedan or something you could go up them but still I think just having the SUV at least for us was really helpful and we're going to be heading to the Biltmore estate I've really wanted to go to the Biltmore estate for a few years now so I'm really looking forward to it I was supposed to go a few years ago but unfortunately lockdown happened and we weren't able to make it that time so this has been like a trip maybe three ish years in the making for me and there's a wine room and every ticket comes with a complimentary wine tasting. So I think we're going to stop and do that before we go into the actual property because we have tickets this evening for the candlelight. I forget what it's called, but every Christmas season they have like the house decorated really nice and they have lots of beautiful candles everywhere. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then I think afterwards we might head for some dinner, but you'll see me shortly at the Biltmore.
Biltmore grounds and gardens are quite extensive, so if you want to see everything, explore everything, give yourself plenty of time. With your ticket, you do get access to the estate the day of your tour time and also the day after. So if there's something that you didn't get to see the day that you're there, just keep in mind that you can come back the next day. Now, after we toured the gardens, our time slot came and we had a 6 p.m. time slot. They are pretty strict about those time slots. So just keep that in mind and also keep in mind that you will have to pass through security and they will check your bags and there will also be a queue to enter the house. They don't allow any videoing inside of the house. So just keep that in mind. However, you can take as many photos as you like. Of course, they ask for no flash photography. I've taken some photos so that you can enjoy and see what it looks like during this time of year. Good morning guys so today's the last day of our girls trip here in the mountains of Asheville North Carolina I think I would have ended the vlog at dinner last night we went to a restaurant called corner kitchen which was very cute it was like in an old house that they had turned into a restaurant the food was very good we have brunch reservations at a restaurant called two below honey so I need to pack we're going to check out of our Airbnb and then we're going to go back there. My recommendation would be if you're going to the Biltmore, when you go through the entrance, pay attention to where you're going because it'll have like right as you get out of the gate, different directions for the house and gardens, for the antler village, etc. And everything was pretty much one way roads. So if you went the wrong way, it was a long time before you could turn around. We had originally planned to start off with the complimentary wine tasting that's included in every ticket. But we ended up going to the house and gardens. And since we were headed that direction, we just decided to explore the gardens. We may go back today for the wine tasting. We're still undecided. Um, we just know that we're going to do brunch. And then I think at brunch, we're going to decide what we want to do next.
guys, so we came back to the Biltmore for a second day. We're gonna do our wine tasting and check out the Antler Hill Village and winery. Up there you can see the Biltmore Inn, which is a hotel that you can stay here on the property. And I think there's a restaurant that you can only eat at if you're a guest there. Was it? Yeah, these are driest to sweetest. Okay. And then 